it's five in the morning and the last morning in Africa. Let's go take some pictures. Good morning. How is it? I'm tired. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. I'm waking up. Greg's with me over here somewhere behind me and it's not their last day in Africa. They've got a couple little bit more time so be sure to go check out Greg's channel. See what he's up to and uh, yeah, I, I really wanted to take some pictures here in Hermanus. I've been here now three times and I haven't taken a single picture of anything that's not a whale or dolphin. So um, there's some seascapes up here. We're hoping that we can find and uh, hopefully we get some light. There's clouds, which look beautiful. If we can get some sunlight punching through at sunrise, it could be epic. And hopefully I didn't just give that the BVS curse. So the place that we came to shoot, it says black oyster nesting area, and it says do not enter. So. We have two options. We can either shoot from up top here or we can uh, cruise down. There's some crazy waves splashing up farther down, but this, lo this location is really cool. The reason I wanted to shoot this was because the water comes up like this and then when it recedes, you get this waterfall coming down that I think would look awesome. So I really want to shoot this. I don't know, we might just shoot from up here. when you stand right here, the waves, the way they come in, they come in and then they bounce off the rocks and then they can kind of jump right at this exact spot you need to stand. So I don't know, I love the spot from my eye. There's all sorts of stuff to shoot. I just don't want to get hit by a wave. <laughs> so I think, well, I'm going to set up the gear anyway and risk it, I think. So I haven't braved the spot down at the bottom where the waves were crashing yet. I'm up here at the top, uh, kind of shooting across and there's a vendor, a local vendor, who's just kind of gone out to enjoy the sunrise out on the rocks as well. And he's making the perfect big landscape little person model out there. So I don't even need Greg to go out there and pose, which is awesome. Um, the light looks really, really beautiful pre-sunrise. I'm just really simple with my camera this morning. It's just 16 to 35, F11, ISO 400, because I want a shutter speed of about one second to get this falling water and to keep some of the drama in the sea. And yeah, the light looks beautiful. There's lots of color in the water. There's some light coming in the sky right now. And yeah, I'm so happy with this. South Africa. It's uh, pretty far south. Wasn't expecting that. Okay, so the camera's set up in a new way on a new shot, and actually, exactly what I was waiting for just happened. That always happens when you're filming. Basically, I'm going for a composition that has a little bit of this rough, wild sea here in the foreground, and then the calm sea in the background with the mountains. But we're not getting a whole lot of color this morning in the sky, so it's making it harder. Luckily, there's lots of color in this crazy water here. It's coming out really blue. And that's where I think it's really important to nail your exposure on the water. 
you overexpose your water, it's gonna look all white and washed out. And then at the end of the day, it's just timing is everything. I'm waiting for a huge wave to come in, smash up over the rocks and then retreat, giving me these waterfalls. So you can see the sun's coming through back that way. It, for a minute, gave sun rays, but I wasn't at my camera. I really wanted to do like a 30 second exposure, really simplified with the water totally flat, and then the sun rays coming through. But I think I missed that moment. It's still shooting now. I think it'll still probably look good as a minimalist photo. But missed that perfect moment. And overall, I think Greg and I are done shooting here, so um, maybe time to pack up. Bye, Ben. Woo! ET, go home. <laughs> Man, the painting. In yeah. The <laughs> Am I God or are you? See you later. Bye. Bye. See you guys at Iceland. Hello. <laughs> Bye. So we have said goodbye to Greg and Nelly, and we're about to say goodbye to South Africa. We've got about a two hour drive to the airport. So excited to go see Binky and Monty. I'm just excited for mincemeat pies. It's uh, about nine, I don't know what time it is. It's about seven o'clock, we're at the airport. Our flight's scheduled to leave at midnight. I've been up since four in the morning and we just learned that it's delayed about two and a half, three hours. So it's gonna be about a 24 hour shift before we get on this flight. But uh, we're gonna try to check in, hopefully, and get through security and maybe find a corner to sleep in. Made it through security pretty quick, um, but we still have like, I guess, three or four hours until the flight takes off, because it's so late. Man, <laughs> this delay is killing me. I woke up at about 4.15 this morning, and uh, it's now, I don't know, two in the morning. The lounge is shutting down. I think we get to board the flight in about 20 minutes, so. I'm gonna wander to the gate. Last minute wildlife photography. Okay, finally, 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 but to board. It's now 4.15 in the morning, which means I pulled a 24 hour shift and I'm ready to sleep. 12 hour flight to London, ending the vlog right now. I'll see you guys from the UK. Peace.